Two days, six battles, an event born from the secret testing of the American Special Forces, combining extreme physical challenges and precision shooting, this is The Tactical Games. Join us as we follow Ashley Sperlin pushing himself to the limits at Reveille Peak Ranch in Burnett, Texas. Beautiful morning, huh? Good morning, everybody. I'm Ashley Sperlin with Recoil Events. I'm here in Austin, Texas at the Tactical Games. It's our first event of the morning. It's called the Horrigan. And as you can see behind me, we have gentlemen pulling sleds down to the end, taking 10 pistol shots at the target 25 yards downfield. They're gonna shoot 10 shots and they're gonna bring the sled back. Then they then have to sprint back to that same, same spot, shoot 10 more rounds, sprint back again, grab the sled again, and do that three times. And whoever finishes fastest with the fewest misses is gonna win. right now as you can see behind me what's going on you got to take two five round mags engage the target in the middle all headshots then you're going to pick up this extremely heavy stone as you can see right here you have to run it back up field or back up range around a the barrel then you kind of come back once you come back there's some very small steel targets that you have to engage from a shooting line right there with the remaining three mags of 10 and hopefully you get them all then you're gonna pick that stone back up, run it back around the barrel, come back, put it where you first picked it up, and then you're all done. I just ran it, uh, everything was going well, but I dropped a lot of shots on the steel. I kept missing and missing, and it is what it is. So we'll try to do better in the next battle. All right, here's what we got. We just got done with battle three. And it was a, it was a long one. We had to carry, we had to push rather, we had to push some wheelbarrows on a long dirt road up a nice hill. We had to do some rifle shots while moving. And some pistol shots while moving. Go up a hill with the wheelbarrow again, bring it all the way back down. And now the judges right, are tallying right, up the ahead, scores yeah. and we'll see how it goes. Ashley finished the Horrigan in third place and the Wheelbarrow in fourth. Unfortunately, his difficulty with the steel in meeting gone bad earned him a 15th place, pushing him down in the standings. Ashley knows that going into Sunday, he's going to have to give it everything he's got if he wants to make it to the podium. Morning everybody, we're here morning two of the Tactical Games in Austin, Texas. Just got done with battle number four. Started off with the obstacle course, which is a, a really good gut check on pretty much everything that you got. Then it was followed up by a, about a two and a half mile, two to three mile run. Once you got done with that run, you came upon the Hilo mock-up you can see behind me. You had to send the ladder Load and make ready with one 30 round magazine. Shoot 30 rounds at some steel targets that are about 150 yards down range. Once I got done with that, come back down the ladder, run another quarter mile into a building to check in where you uh, cross the finish line. So we got two battles left and we'll see what they have left or what they have in store for us. What's up everybody, we're here at battle number five called Sand Babies. It's approximately 80 rounds of rifle. You're gonna be carrying a 70 pound heavy sandbag. You're gonna bring it up to the shooting position. 
The first 40 rounds are in the seated position. You're then gonna come with your 70 pound sandbag, run over seven beautiful berms, come back, shoot another 20 in any modified position you want other than the prone position, and then your final 20 are in the prone position. A little side note, the last 40 rounds are shooting iron sights, no optic allowed. So when you come up, you gotta turn your optic off, flip up your iron sights, hopefully you zeroed them, and then make your last 40 shots all with iron sights. We just got done with the final battle of the tactical games here in Austin, Texas. It was called the aggregate. What you do is you start off with a farmer's carry, run it up this nice gradual hill that's a little bit more annoying than it might appear. Then you're gonna shoot 10 rounds with your rifle standing at a steel target about 50 yards, 10 kneeling, and then 10 in the prone. And you're gonna grab your farmer's carry. You have to run back to the starting point, get your sled, grab your sled, Run it back up the hill as fast as you can. Same process, 10 standing, 10 kneeling, 10 in the prone. Then they had pepper poppers at about 35 yards. I don't know exactly, I'm guesstimating. You have to engage those with your pistol. Then you bring the sled back down, going backwards to the cones. And for the last or third iteration, you're gonna sprint, which it was not a sprint, that your legs are not working at that point. Sprint back up, repeat the process for the third time, which is, 10 standing, 10 kneeling, 10 prone, which of course, as you're getting gassed and winded, is progressively getting harder. Then you shoot that second pepper popper again with your pistol. Every round remaining in your mag, which is loaded with 10 rounds, is an additional 10 second bonus for the competitor. Hit that pepper popper and then sprint back, and then you're done. With a fifth place finish in the obstacle course, a fourth place finish in sand babies, and a solid second place finish in the aggregate, Ashley's consistency paid off, giving him enough points to earn him a third place finish and a coveted Tactical Games trophy. Uh, that concludes the Austin Games here. Again, you guys need to come out. You girls need to come out. You need to try this because I did the one in Tennessee. This is my second one. It's a great crew running it. Great competitors. You're gonna meet, meet like-minded individuals and it's an awesome environment and you need to come do one.